You ever get those videos in your feed where it says the top 10 worst actresses to work with in Hollywood? And you're like, oh, I've got to see what this is. Because like the thumbnail photo has a picture of, you know, like nine different Hollywood actors. And uh, one of them is like maybe Robert Downey Jr. And you're like, oh, I've never heard of this being a thing. I got to click on this and see what this is. And you watch that video, right? And, you know, you, you click on the video, it starts in a like number 10. And they say whatever actor or actress, and they tell a little story. And then they work out their way, and then they're like, number one. And you've watched the whole video, right? This is like a 10, 12-minute video. And they've told you about some of these actors and some stories that have been, you know, all over the media and stuff about their bad behavior or whatever that they're hard to get along with. But the thumbnail maybe, like I said, had a picture of Robert Downey Jr. You've watched this whole video and not a single story about Robert Downey Jr. That's clickbait. So I see a lot of people posting comments and in, in other people's videos and they say like, this was clickbait. And I'm like, well, no, they talked about what their title and their thumbnail said. If you didn't like the video, you just didn't like the video. That doesn't make it clickbait, right? Clickbait has kind of taken also on a new term of like being hyperbolic, you know, like breaking news, you know, or uh, you've got to click this to hear about this thing now, whatever it is. And that's still really not clickbait. That's just hyperbole. That's hyperbolic, you know, urgent click now. <laughs> Don't want to miss this. And that's not clickbait. So it's because that's the whole thing. Like, like think of like a bait car for police cars, right? Uh, criminals think they're stealing a real car, but it doesn't work or it doesn't have a motor or it shuts down or whatever. It's a bait. So they're baiting you with the title and the thumbnail to watch a video. It, that video doesn't discuss anything related to the title and thumbnail. That's clickbait. And like spam would just be anything that is unsolicited. You know, you've subscribed to a bunch of things in your email. And so sometimes you'll get a, an email from somebody you've never heard of, a company you've never heard of, uh, nothing you've ever subscribed to. That would be spam. It's like junk mail in your mailbox, right? You didn't sign up for all those flyers that you keep getting. So consider that a spam. It's anything unsolicited that you didn't like. You'll see that in some uh, some YouTubers' comments where you'll see those bot spams where it's like, girls, 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 and it's got some goofy link or whatever. Now, YouTube's doing a really good job of getting rid of that stuff, but like that is spam. So it'd be anything unsolicited. But if you click on a video and the title and the thumbnail match the story and you didn't like that video, well, then you just didn't like the video, but it's not clickbait. It's not spam. Nobody made you click on the video, right? So then it wouldn't be spam. But like I said, it's not clickbait just because you didn't like it. If they covered the thing that they said they were going to cover, then it's not clickbait. I just had to clear that up because I've been seeing a lot of this. I don't know if it's trolls that are leaving these comments where it's like, this was clickbait. <laughs> like, okay, well, did they cover what they said they were going to cover? If they did, then you're off, right? Because that's like misleading. You know, this, I'm going to say that this thing does something that it doesn't. Well, that's misleading. And that's what we've kind of, instead of saying that, we now, I guess, have just, we're throwing around words and saying things like it's clickbait. But that's what the original in intention of that word was supposed to mean. You know, it says one thing, but does something completely different. So if you're watching a cooking channel and the video is like how to bake a cake, and that's what the title says, and you click on the video and it's somebody working on a car, yeah, well, then that's clickbait. So anyway, all right. I just had to clear that up for a few people. Bye.